Hi, I'll talk about our paper, Out of Distribution Detection with Reconstruction Error and Typicality Based Penalty. This is joint work with these guys. Let me briefly explain the task of Out of Distribution Detection, or OD. Here we suppose that the distribution data is cipher 10 and we have trained an ML model, say a classifier using cipher 10, as the training data. In this situation, inputs such as SVHN and cell A are OOD. Since we know that this model cannot make correct decisions on these OODs, we have to detect them. This is the task we address. To address the OOD detection task, we take an approach using deep generative model, DJMs. The detection method using likelihood of death estimation model has been proposed earlier, but recently it turned out that it doesn't work in high dimension. Here is our approach. We do not use the likelihood, but instead we use the reconstruction error in normalizing flow. First, we train normalizing flow F. It runs one-to-one -one mapping from mean distribution data to Gaussian latent space. Then, at this time, we measure the reconstruction error like this. We expect that the distribution input have a small reconstruction error R. But contrary, all the inputs will have large R, because normalizing flow has not learned how to map such unknown inputs to its related space. One may think that because normalizing flow is invertible, there is no reconstruction error. But actually, it has. For the details, we'd like to see our paper. <laughs> to boost the detection performance, we introduce typicality-based penalty. According to the typicality, we add a penalty to latent vector z. The penalty term is written like this. The blue circle with the radius of square root d in the latent space is where the typical set, I mean, in distribution samples concentrates on. The larger the deviation of z from this square root d, the larger the magnitude of the penalty, z. We incorporate this penalty term into the reconstruction error as a perturbation in the latent space. Because all these samples will be mapped further from the nearest of square root d, the penalty term will be larger for all these samples. It leads to larger reconstruction error R for all D. In the last part of this video, we briefly show the experimental result. The x-axis of this histogram is the magnitude of our OOD score. It shows that our method is successful to clearly separate in distribution and various type of OOD inputs. That's it. It would be nice if you would read our paper. Thank you for watching this video.